fix my hair though. Hey guys, what's up? It's musician Annie. I know, this is crazy, right? One, I just put out a video yesterday. By the way, did you see that video? They, yeah, I think they even have toys now, um, but they have a lot of things. Um, and because that was a haul, and that was a haul that I've been wanting to put up for the past half year. That's actually a real story too. Um, but anyway, go check that out. I know it's really long, but if you're like into like cheap clothing and stuff, you should definitely go check that video out. And second thing you're probably surprised about is that this is my June favorites video. And it's actually up on time. Anyway, Shopping, yeah, I, I just I said, you know what, I'm gonna do it. Halfway through the year, I'm going to actually well, I mean, some of the previous ones were on time, but like, you know, I kind of was starting to not put them out on time. I was starting to slack. Anyway, here are my June favorites. I really only have five items because I wanted to make this video shorter because the last video was like almost a half hour long, but I promise you it's worth it if you like cheap stuff. Anyway enough promo for that video but um yeah I'm just gonna get into the beauty stuff so the first thing that I've been using a lot this month well actually I just kind of started using it because it's kind of new but I needed to feature it in this video because it's pretty awesome uh, if you don't shop at Bath and Body Works you should because it's like amazing and you should you should do it uh, they actually just had a really huge sale but I've been using this lotion it's called Maui Mango Surf and it is from Bath and Body Works. I'm trying to hide my nails because they look like crappy crap. But yeah, it uh, smells so good. And I almost just squirted something in my nose. And it's just a great scent. And I would really, really recommend this. The next beauty product I figured I'd... Well done. Okay, sorry if it's loud. By the way, fun fact, I'm in my new house. Yes. 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 But uh, it's been really fun and I'm so happy. I'm so much happier here. Oh my god, it's just so much better. I love it here. But yeah, we live kind of by like sort of like a busier area, so if you hear a truck or something, yeah. Sorry. But yeah, this next beauty product, now that I got sidetracked, I swear I have ADHD, but who knows? Um, is this oil-free acne wash by Neutrogena. This is the pink grapefruit cream cleanser. And that is what that looks like. And I know you guys know that like I think I feature a face wash in literally every one of my favorite videos but I am obsessed with face wash and I love trying new things. And this is actually a new product but I feel like I've had this before. But it's a really, it's a really great cleansing wash and it is like a cream so it comes out like it looks like a lotion. Um, but yeah, it smells great. It makes your face really, really feel nice. And Neutrogena is always a good product. Like, I almost just dropped that. You can't go wrong with Neutrogena, so I would definitely recommend this one. And then for the next beauty product, let me just... Um, I have been using, I finally got another mascara because my other one was just like calling it quits. It was like, uh, I'm done. I'm done being in mascara. You can go buy bat crap somewhere else. But no, fun fact, did you know that mascara has one of the key ingredients is bat poop? Bet you didn't know that. Look it up. One thing I learned from school that retained. Um, yeah, but this one's by Maybelline. I can't get away from like the falsies line. I can't get away from Maybelline. I've always loved Maybelline. And this one is the Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express, and this one's actually waterproof, which explains why um, why it's been <laughs> staying. Like when I wash my face, I'm like, why isn't this coming off as easy as the other one? And it's actually waterproof. And I really like this one, um, not as much as the other one that I had, but hey, this is what the brush looks like. So as you can see, it's a very nice brush that probably just got on my hand. Um, sorry, my blinds are cracking together. But yeah, this is a really great mascara, and I love trying out different ones from the line, so I figured I'd try out another one. Yeah, 
and this is the one that I did get so I would definitely check that out if you are looking for a new mascara I would recommend any of the falsies I got one fashion item and one food item left so these sunglasses that I am featuring in this video are adorable um, I'm getting like an Audrey Hepburn vibe, Hepburn vibe from these sorry I feel like I've drank a bunch of coffee but I haven't but these are amazing. I actually got these at the thrift store, Plato's Closet. I actually have a haul coming up from them, but if you don't know what Plato's Closet is, it's basically just a thrift shop where you can buy really cute clothes for really cheap money and they're nice. Um, but yeah, I have a whole video coming out about them. But anyway, these were featured in there and I don't really know what brand these are because there wasn't any like tag on them. But yeah, they're super, super cute and I'm, I'm in love with them. So, I'm in love with the sunglasses. Hey, no, okay, let's not do that. Yeah, these are my only beauty item. It's really getting loud. Stop. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna fix this. Of course, it's gonna stop when I go. Yeah, I just closed the window like a genius. There's such a nice breeze though, it's gonna rain, I can tell. Anyway, yeah. Those are adorable, and yeah. Really like these gotta have sunglasses when you're in the sun and then the last thing is a food item and this is just gum ordinary gum this is actually a new flavor by extra and it's called sweet orange and it doesn't seem like it would be that good it's a really good flavor I'm gonna recommend it because at first I was like it's probably isn't gonna be that great pretty bomb not gonna lie it almost tastes like a dreamsicle like you know the the orange popsicles that are like sherbet on the outside and vanilla ice cream on the inside. It's kind of what it tastes like. So uh, you should try this out. You should definitely check it out. And that's it for my favorites. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Honestly, I love doing these. I, it's fun. I get a lot of good feedback from these videos. So I'm glad that I can help y'all on your benches to buy new stuff. But yeah, that's basically all. You should see the tripod I have set up right now. It's pretty ghetto can't find mine so I had to make one but it's working I think I hope I hope if this is on a slant I apologize just kind of wink your eye and tell your head no I'm just kidding um but yeah thank you guys so much for the feedback I love getting comments they make my day like honestly a comment is more than a like to me but you should like my videos because they're pretty cool <laughs> anyway anyway I'm gonna shut up because I feel like I'm blabbing and that's never a good thing so be on the run, be on the lookout for more videos coming up soon. I got a lot of pre-recorded stuff, so you'll see me in my other room at my old house. You'll be like, what, Annie? Pre-recorded. I still got you. And that's about it for today. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up because thumbsing up things is positive and positive is good. Um, and as usual, all my social media links will be in the description box below. If you want to check out my last haul video, I will also link that in the description box below. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it, guys. Hope you guys have a great day or night or whatever it is where you live. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys. I only call you when it's